Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a happy new year, happy holidays, all that good stuff. I have a huge collective like winter themed haul for you all. I had last week off and so what I did was I basically went to a bunch of thrift stores and I tried to stockpile as much as I humanely could so that I didn't have to thrift this week because I knew this week going back to work was going to be rough. So yeah, I went to Goodwill. I did a little bit of Facebook Marketplace. I went to ARK. I went to Crossroads Trading. So these are like all my favorite places to source from. And I just kind of picked a few of the things that I love the most. It's not everything I got, but just like the highlights. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how thrifting has been for you. For me, it has been very hit or miss. I feel like I have to go to like 20 different thrift stores just to find some good stuff. But overall, it's been, it's not as good as it used to be. Let's just say that. And don't forget to subscribe. All right, let's get on with it. I'm just gonna start grabbing stuff. Let's start with the shoes. I will start off with a Facebook Marketplace item first. So the first thing that I got was these pair of Sorrells. So this lady was getting rid of these plus some other shoes for $20. And I am kind of torn because I actually really need tall snow boots. I live in Colorado. I don't have tall snow boots. I do have a pair of snow boots, but they're from college. Very sustainable. And these are in pretty good condition. I mean, Sorrells, I feel like, don't really show wear, so like, who knows how often these have been worn. The bottoms look pretty good. So, I don't know, these are called the Carly boot, I believe. And I like the style of them. They're kind of like equestrian. They don't look like super snow boot. But the comps for these were like $110. So I was like, okay, if I don't end up keeping them, I will sell them, but they are my size. So that was the first thing I got. Facebook Marketplace is a great place to source from if you don't already, because sometimes people get rid of stuff for super cheap. I actually got this sweater from Facebook Marketplace and it's like a rare Patagonia print, but I just loved it so much. I was like, I wanna keep it for myself. So I tend to shop on there more for myself than to resell, but great source for both. Okay, next up, I got a pair of Zero shoes. These shoes are made in Colorado, or at least they're designed in Colorado. I should don't know where they're manufactured, but they were like on Shark Tank. And basically they're known for having like a really wide toe box. It's like a more natural way for your toes to sprawl when you walk. These shoes are supposed to be like insanely comfortable. They're just very, very expensive. So these were $17. They're a hiking boot. And it seemed like the comps for these were like 60 to $70. And I've had really, really good luck with zero shoes in the past. I don't always spend $17 on shoes, but for these, I was like, okay, I will. I do need to clean them up a little bit. They're looking a little bit rough on the bottom. I need to take the marker off, but I do expect these to do pretty well, especially once we get into the warmer months and people are looking at hiking. So that was a pretty good find. Don't sleep on zero shoes. They're great. And it's X-E-R-O. All right. So yesterday, or like two days ago, Maybe it was on New Year's Day. It was New Year's Day. I went to ARC. I was surprised that they were open. Um, the only reason why I went is because they had a $10 off $30 purchase. And I was like, that's a really good deal. I should go. So I got a couple of things that I'll share with you. So one of the items I got was this Patagonia Better Coat. It's like their better sweater material, but in coat form. And I kind of went back and forth on this because there is a logo on it, but you can't really see. Um, I totally pulled that out of my ass. I had no idea there was a logo there until just now and I already have this listed. So I'll probably photograph that. But usually Patagonia does well for me when it's obvious like this, where it says Patagonia on it. This kind of style takes a little bit longer for me to sell. However, this has a lot of likes already. Patagonia also sells used clothes on their website and they were selling this for like $115. I have it listed for 65. That's what it looked like it was selling for on Poshmark and eBay anyway. Um, it's in pretty good condition, has some pilling, but I almost passed up on this and I was like, wait a second, girl, it's a Patagonia coat for $10. What are you doing? So I decided to get it, obviously. Um, and then I had a really hard time finding stuff to buy. Like it took me a while to pick some of the stuff out. I got this sweater. I have no idea what this brand is. I did Google image search and I could not find it, but the reason I got it is because it's wool, rabbit hair, angora, cashmere. I was able to find this sweater, not the brand, 
on, I think it was eBay, and somebody is selling it for like $170. They called it a vintage equestrian sweater. So I haven't listed it yet. I haven't even photographed it. I just thought it was so cute. It has like horseshoes and like a pony print. I loved the button detail. It's very, very cute. So it was only $5. So I was like, why not? Okay, so like I said, I was having a hard time finding stuff that day and this is something I would normally pass on, but this is a Madewell blouse and I just don't have the best luck selling Madewell blouses. They don't resell for a whole lot for me, but because I had that coupon, I decided to get it. It is pretty cute. It buttons down in the front and it's a little more current. It's lined, so it's a little bit nicer of um, like quality. Nothing, nothing crazy. I'm not gonna get rich on this top, that's for sure. It's not that it's like, not a cute shirt. It's just that I'm trying to be very picky with Madewell these days. I have not looked up the comps for that shirt. However, I have a suspicion it probably sells for like 20 to $30. Okay, and then the other thing I got that day at ARC was the Soft Surroundings cardigan thing. Um, not usually a brand I pick up. I was just trying to get the $30 threshold. I think I probably still would have gotten this because it was only $2.50. It was $5 and it was half off um, because yellow tags were half off. So I don't know. I think that some soft surroundings does well still, especially the stuff that is more like intricate like this and not just like, they have a lot of basics and that does not sell for me. Something like this where it's like metallic and like beaded and all that stuff for 250. Like if I found this at the bins, I would buy it. Okay, then I went to a buy sell trade store. Oh, gosh, okay, that was quite the ordeal. So I got this CP Shades dress. It was originally $50 at the store and it was half off. It even still has the tags. It's called the Michelle dress and CP Shades retails for a pretty penny. Like it is expensive. And this is like a long maxi duster style dress. So um, it seemed like the comps were pretty good. It was like $125. So I decided I would still get it. Like I know I'm gonna make my money back. Here's the thing, it came with a belt. I could not find the belt anywhere. And then I finally was like, I'm just gonna call the store and see if they have the belt. They did. So I had to drive like 30 minutes up back to the store to get the dang belt. But now I need to rephotograph it because I photographed it without the belt because I didn't think I'd ever see it again. So yeah, anyway, that's my story about the CP Shades dress. But CP Shades normally sells very, very fast for me. I think this will be a decent sale. Maybe, maybe not because it's a little bit more weird. It also has a little hole here from what I assume is like the tag, whoever tagged it originally, super annoying. Then I got these super fun sweatpants. I am obsessed with these, like I kind of want them, but I'm just not cool enough to pull these off. They're like a cargo jogger pant, not jogger, cargo wide leg pant. Like those are wide and they have like pockets on the front and giant pockets on the back. And this is from Free People Movement, which I feel like is having a resurgence. Like Free People Movement is having a moment. Their pants do pretty well for me. I did pay up for these a little bit. I paid $18 because I just love them so much. I was like, honestly, I know I'm gonna regret not getting these. Ooh, I made a sale. Oh man, I sold a pair of jeans that have been in my closet forever. I have these listed for like $50, which is not like the most amazing profit in the world, but I figured it would be a quick sale and I'd regret not getting it more because like I say in all my videos, if it doesn't sell, I'll wear it, even though I never do. Okay, this is something I got at Goodwill. This is a Sundance cardigan. And I really like selling Sundance. It does very, very well for me. And I always mix it up with soft surroundings. They're like the same thing in my head. But this is like, it looks like an Easter egg or something, I don't know. Uh, but I think I have this listed for like $60. It has a lot of likes, a couple of questions. So I think this will sell pretty quickly. Um, it's also made with wool, I believe. So another great material to pick up because wool can be very expensive. Yeah, okay, it's like 5% wool, but still putting wool blend gets all the people going. Um, from that same Goodwill, I got this Good American blouse. Um, I don't really buy Good American jeans that much anymore unless it's like not a skinny jean. Their jeans seem to sell really slow for me. There are so many brands and styles. I feel like they used to be like a no brainer, like Spanx liquid leggings. They would sell so fast and now I just like really have to think about it. But since this blouse was only like 
I think it was like five dollars. I decided to get it. It's really pretty, great size. Good American does size their stuff kind of different. Like this is a size three, which I believe is like a large. I, I don't remember, but you just have to reference their size chart when you find it. But yeah, I thought this was really cute. I don't think it'll be a fast sale. Okay, y'all, these pants are freaky. <laughs> So these are from a brand called Dogpile. And these really reminded me of that lip service tank I found at the bins a little while ago. And I was like, those look like they're from the 90s or something, mostly because of this tag. Like this tag is just screaming 90s to me. So I looked it up. Seems like this brand does really, really well. Um, it has a couple of likes on it already. And the only thing is I could have probably sold these for like $100, but I listed them at 60. I didn't notice this until I got home, but they have quite a few holes. And like, I don't think you can like really repair pleather that easily. Like that's a pretty big tear. I don't think you can see that, but there's like a little tear in the back pocket. It's all along the seams. So I did disclose that in my listing. Kind of sucks, but I see now why these made it to half off day. I didn't spend a whole lot on them. I think they're like $7 and I'll for sure sell these and make my money back. They're just so unique. I think someone's going to love these. <laughs> I just felt a little, a uh, little interesting checking out with them. I felt like it did not really go with the rest of the stuff I bought. Okay, last but not least, I found one more Patagonia item. I feel like ARC missed this because they always mark up Patagonia like crazy. This is a really cute like high pile fleece sweater. It has the logo on it, which means it'll probably sell fast and bring in a little bit more money than like something that doesn't have that. I do need to wash it still and look at comps, but it's a size extra large, so I'm excited. If I had to guess, this will probably sell for like 50 to $60, but it's so cute. It kind of looks like the Cookie Monster a little bit, like the color of it is just, it's Cookie Monster blue. So that was exciting. That was actually like the only thing I found that day when I went to ARC and I was like, well, you know what? I'd rather find one good thing than none. Okay, well, that was my entire haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe, give this video a like, and I'll see you guys next time.